Greetings subscribers and other curious persons and welcome to another Tuesday Talks Vlog. Uh, this week's topic is, does book hype affect your reading? A simple answer, not really. I've been thinking about this since the topics were announced and for the past, over the past year, I can think of one author where I've wanted to read the next book they wrote badly enough that I've bought it straight away on release and no authors at all that I've bought on pre-order. There are some books like Andy Weir's The Martian that I'd like to read. I, there's a lot of hype that says from people who opinion I trust that say it's a good book but I don't want to read it badly enough even based on the massive hype surrounding it and people who love it who I trust recommending it to me that I've gone out to buy a copy I tend to buy books because I want to read that book not because the book is really great the book is famous everyone has to read this book this book is everywhere and it's the same for other things. There are computer games that I would like to play. Just Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is massively hyped. Looking at the videos, the reviews, I think I'd enjoy Fallout 4. But I don't want to do it to play it badly enough that I rush out to buy it. I'll wait until I'm next looking to buy a computer game or possibly next having things for birthdays or winter festivals and maybe I'll be given Fallout 4. But fundamentally I don't rush out and buy things. I... but then again I don't do it deliberately to wait until things are on sale. So if I fancy buying a book and I see something that was hyped six months ago, I might check it out. Where book hype potentially does influence my reading is in people I trust to judge a book that I will like or not like being affected by book hype. So. If one of my friends is influenced by the hype around a book, potentially they are more likely to buy it. And if it's something that they've bought that they think I'll enjoy, they might lend it to me. So book hype has a secondary effect that the books I get lent by other people potentially are influenced by book hype. But... Sorry, advertisers and marketers. I'm the part of the market that doesn't get affected by you saying, buy the book. And even the big authors who have name recognition, like Stephen King, Connolly, and so on, get all over the place, massive adverts on the sides of buses, trains to say there's a new book coming out. I noticed the new book. If it's an author I really love, I'll notice there's a new book out, and then at some point, if I see it in the library, I might pick up a copy to read it. So, unless you're that author who has got a grip on me so hard that I desperately want to read your new book now, because I need to know what happens, then the adverts aren't going to work. And if you are the kind of author who's got that kind of grip on me, then I'm going to join your mailing list, probably, so I'm going to know, even if you don't do any non-mailing list advertising, that you've got a new book coming out. So either I'm going to see the mentions and they're not going to affect me, or I'm already going to have decided to buy it because I care enough about your next book that I've signed up to receive direct notifications. So meh to hype really and what doubly impacts on the meh to hype that i feel is the fact that there are so many great books that were written before the hype 
as a massive wall of classics. The entirety of Russian fiction, particularly Russian speculative fiction, that's slowly being translated. So I might look out for that, but no one's really blitzing social media with, there was this book that was published in Russia in 1923, and it's superb, and it's just been translated. So the hype isn't really doing anything other than being noise for me. But that doesn't mean to say that it's a bad thing to be affected by hype. It's just it doesn't affect me. That's not the way my brain's wired, is I don't respond to being broadcasted at, as is probably indicated by the fact that I don't really have a use for a mobile phone, so I don't have one, because I don't need to be broadcasted at constantly. So, uh, toodaloo!